embryonic stem cells, the most pluripotent of all stem cells, are derived from embryos generated by in vitro fertilization. When fertilization is successful, the sperm head bearing the nucleus enters the egg, while the tail is left behind. The egg divides first into two cells, then into four. With more divisions, a multicellular ball of cells known as a blastocyst is formed. If you could look into the blastocyst with X-ray eyes, you discover that it is a hollow ball made up of two cell types, an outer layer, the trophoblast, which will eventually form the placenta, and an inner cluster of cells known as the inner cell mass. The embryo is derived from the cells of the inner cell mass. It is possible to pick up these embryonic stem cells with a pipette and transfer them to a petri dish for culturing. Under appropriate culture conditions, these embryonic stem cells divide or self-renew and the cell mass grows. Sometimes pockets of cells will stop dividing and begin to differentiate spontaneously. Groups of cells may develop properties of mature bone cells or pancreatic cells. Others develop into muscle cells that can contract and spill others into nerve cells. Because they have the potential to become a wide variety of specialized cells, embryonic stem cells are described as pluripotent. Pluripotency is one of two key features of embryonic stem cells. The second key feature of embryonic stem cells is their ability to divide or self-renew indefinitely while retaining their undifferentiated pluripotent state. Small groups of cells can first be grown in the petri dish, but as the numbers increase, the population can be further expanded by growing in larger tissue culture flasks. You can tell that the cells are growing because the tissue culture medium turns from pink to yellow-orange, indicating a drop in pH. Cells from a single flask can seed many flasks. In this way, unlimited numbers of undifferentiated plural